Hey, saints of the Most High God. I, I hope you're enjoying this time as we're talking about healing, allowing our, our, our faith to just be stabilized in the Word of God. Today, I want to talk to you about how, how distinctly the will of God was expressed through the person in the life of Jesus Christ. Well, look at Jesus in the scriptures. What, what does the life of Jesus tell us about healing? Uh, you know, the, the scripture says, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. God became a man. It's mysterious. It's amazing. And it's powerful. In 1 John 1, it says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In verse 14, it says, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. This Word who was, was with God, and this Word who was God, He became flesh, and He lived among us. Colossians 1.15 says, He was the image of the invisible God. If you wanted to see what God looks like, you can see that through the life of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 1.3, he is the express image of his person. Hebrews 10.7, then I said, behold, I have come in the volume of the book. It is written about me to do your will, O God. Jesus came to do the will of God. He perfectly expressed God. He did only, he only did God's will. One of the predominant things that Jesus did everywhere he went, he healed the sick. Oh, Holy Spirit, we just acknowledge you. Take your word, take the truth, take the realities of scripture and make them real to our hearts in Jesus' name. Mark 1, verses 40 and 42. Now a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling down to him and saying to him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus, moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. See, the question we, we all have it, the, the question is not, can God heal? We all know God can heal. And most of us have experienced it. So most of us have seen it in, in other people around us. The question that we have is, will God heal me? Is, is it God's will to heal me? It's not a question of whether you can. The leper didn't have a question about whether Jesus could heal. His question was, would you, would you heal me if you're willing? If you want to, you could heal me. Jesus put his hand on the leper and said, I am willing. I want to be cleansed. See, everywhere that Jesus went, he expressed the will of God. Here's an interesting fact uh, of, of scripture that is found in the New Testament. Everyone, and I mean everyone, that came to Jesus in the Bible for healing was healed or came for deliverance. They were delivered. No one was turned away. Not one example. No one left without the healing they came for. No one departed from his presence without the healing that they had come to receive. The, the leper, the, the two blind men, the woman with the issue of blood, blind Bartimaeus, the 10 lepers, Everyone that came to Jesus for healing received it. Now, here's another interesting fact or, or, or statistic. Everyone that came to Jesus in the Bible in behalf of, of someone else or in behalf of another for healing, that, that another, that, that someone else was always healed. The centurion for his beloved servant. Jairus for his daughter. Then the guys who broke through the roof with their, their quadriplegic friend. The Canaanite woman for her daughter. Mary and Martha for Lazarus. 
And see, what this does is it says something to us about God and healing. Jesus was God manifest in the flesh. He was the express image of the person of God. He said, I only do the things that I see my Father doing. I only say the things that I hear my Father saying. In Matthew 15, verse 26, I talked about this in an earlier video, but a woman came to Jesus for her daughter to be delivered from a tormenting spirit. And she was not of the house of Israel. She was a Syrophoenician woman. It was not time for, for the, the blessing of the kingdom to be released be, beyond the, uh, the, the, those that it was chosen for. That there would come a time. Now, now she's not the only one that broke through this barrier. There was the woman uh, at the well also, that, who was a Samaritan woman. But this Syrophoenician woman came and, and began to plead with Jesus for him to heal her. And, and he kind of ignored her. You'd think he was uh, being kind of hard with her. Now, I personally believe that he was actually treating her in a way that would provoke her faith to be released. And, and the, the, she was continually pleading before the master. The disciples were saying, you know, tell her to get out of here. Tell her to leave. And Jesus finally says to her, you know, it's not right to take the children's bread and, and to give it to the dogs. But see, this woman had such a, a passion to see her daughter set free that she wouldn't take no for an answer. And I, I really don't believe Jesus was saying no. I, I still believe he was trying to provoke her faith. And finally, she said, you know, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the table from the children. And, and Jesus said, woman, great is your faith. Go your way. Your daughter has been made whole. And, you know, it's a powerful story of, of being persistent in our faith. Uh, I, I think we have a lot to learn from that. But, but there's something we can easily miss. I mentioned this in an earlier video. Jesus said healing. Jesus said deliverance was the children's bread. If you are a child of God, it is your inheritance. It is your rightful possession. It is just part of being a child of God. You know, when you pray, give me this day my daily bread, Lord, I'm not just asking for the food I need. I'm asking for the healing I need to walk in also. Healing, deliverance is the children's bread. Now, I just want to read a couple more scriptures in the New Testament. Remember, Jesus, everywhere he went, he was revealing what God is like, and he was revealing the will of God. He came to do the will of God. Matthew 4, 23 and 24. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. You know, the word means all. It means every single kind of sickness, every single kind of disease. Verse 24. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Wow. Wow. Matthew 8, 16, when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed. He cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. Matthew 9, 35, then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Matthew 12, 15, but when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there and great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. Whew. Matthew 14, 14, and when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. Jesus is the perfect expression of the image of God. He perfectly revealed the person and the will of God. Matthew 15, verses 30 and 31. Then great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, blind, mute, maimed, and many others, and they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. 
So the multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. Now this is a verse after Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, and ascension, Acts 15, I'm sorry, Acts 5, verse 16. Also a great multitude gathered from the surrounding cities to Jerusalem, bringing sick people and those who were tormented by evil spirits, and they were all healed. Wow. Jesus reveals the will of God to us, not just by the words that he spoke, but by the way he lived. And so I just want to encourage all of us that it's, it's still Jesus' will, it's still God's will to heal the sick. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen.